Hello everybody. Right then, today I'm going to move on to doing the chimney base and the chimney top. I've got some material for the chimney here that I've just got to reduce the wall thickness. So that'll that's just straightforward. And then the base and the top, it says in the book that you, you buy a casting that's all in one and you machine each piece out of that casting. Well I've not got a casting but I've got some bronze tubing which is just a fraction less than the diameter that it says on drawing so I'm going to manage with that. It's only a sixteenth less and it'll be negligible on this part here. So what I'm doing then, I've just got it set up in lathe and I'm just about to bore it out, bore the, bore the tubing out to reduce the wall thickness, ready to put it in my milling machine to fly cut this radius and then the top's just straightforward turning it's this radius that's the trickiest part so, oh, and I've also been spraying me my cylinders and my the saddle I made the other day because it's nice sunny weather I thought I'd do that I'll show you that on the way over to lathe so I'm going to move over to lathe now and just show you what I'm doing at lathe got my cylinders painted that's number one here's the other one And then I've been painting my saddle outside. Here we are then. So I've got this bit of tubing set up in lathe and I'm just burning it out to correct diameter for chimney, inch and three quarter. Then that's reducing the amount of wall thickness from it to after fly cut. Uh, the LD's a, f a fraction under what I, what I really needed, but it's okay, it'll, it'll manage. It's just only a sixteenth less. And then I've got to turn that radius in after, turn it to the diameter and part it off. So, my idea is to, to bore it out, leave the, leave the stock material on, so I've got something to grip on, set it up in my miller, and then fly cut it this way down to get that five and five eighths radius. Got the piece of bronze mounted on my V blocks, got my V everything clamped to the table with two clamps. I'm just setting it up parallel now with axis at machine. Yeah that's within a half a thou. I'm gonna set my fly cutter up now. Here's one way you can set your fly cutter up. I've put the di I've put my smoke box in the in the lathe, so that's the diameter that that I need to get the chimney base to fit on. I've put my boring bar in, and I've set my boring bar square up to the up to the side of the smoke box. So I've zeroed my dials. I've put my feeler gauge in there and I can just get a, th a couple of thou feeler in so I know I know I'm on my diameter now. I'm just going to wind this off, take the smoke box out. I can now put my fly cutter in. Bring my boring bar up to up to there and I've got to put a tool in now that's going to touch on that boring bar and that's the swing that I need to get five and five eighths diameter then. I've got my tool in position now and I'm just going to touch my tool onto the position where my reference point on my boring bar were touching my smoke box. That's just touching that. Now 
That's it, I've got my tooth out feeler in. That's set now at five and five eighths. Over to the milling machine now. The chimney cowl set up in back up in my lathe now. I've got a centre to support it, although the centre's only gripping on two points because obviously it's not a it's not a a circle in the bore now. But it's supporting it. I've measured from here to where I need to be one inch, and all it's a matter of doing now is I'm doing this freehand. I'm sweeping a curve into into the chimney cowl or shroud, it's a shroud isn't it, not a cowl uh, I'm traversing my lathe out away from the chuck and I'm working the cross slide manually and I'm just eyeballing this till I get a sweeping curve 